It's surprising to say, but John Cena had two major controversies in 2021. I'll let you be the judge if they are warranted though. In May, while promoting his upcoming appearance in the newest Fast and the Furious movie, John Cena said Taiwan would be the first country to see the movie. While Taiwan is self-governed, Chinese officials claim Taiwan is part of their territory. This angered Chinese nationalists, which prompted Cena to post a weird video. The leader of the C Nation apologized several times in Mandarin, but never says what he's apologized for. This caused even more backlash from people who felt Cena shouldn't have apologized. The whole incident became so big that when the Chinese social credit meme started taking off, John Cena was the face of it. Cena's controversy didn't end here though. A few months later, the documentary TV show Dark Side of the Ring aired an episode talking about former WWE star Chris Canyon. Canyon, who committed suicide in 2010, was gay and suffered with depression and bipolar disorder. After being released from WWE in 2004, Chris Canyon would claim that WWE let him go because of his homosexuality, although later on, he said it was just a publicity stunt. On the Dark Side of the Rain episode, an interview John Cena did in 2006 resurfaced. Cena was asked about Canyon being let go because of his sexuality, and John Cena said this. Here's, here's the weird thing about Chris, and I've known Chris for a long time. He, okay. uh, he actually came out of the closet after he was fired. Right. He just, he wasn't any good. After the episode aired, Cena's comments caused some outrage and even got cancelled John Cena trending on Twitter. To be fair, there was another side who didn't think Cena's comments from 15 years ago were that upsetting. On the topic of Dark Side of the Ring, another WWE star would face huge backlash after one particular episode aired. In September 2021, Dark Side of the Ring covered the infamous Plane Ride from Hell event. Back in 2002, WWE was heading back to the United States after a tour in Europe. The company had rented a private jet, which had an open bar. As the Dark Side of the Ring episode documented, chaos broke out on the flight, which included Ric Flair taking off his clothes and only wearing his robe. Flair then harassed the female flight attendants, although Flair has denied that this happened. After the episode aired, WWE removed the Nature Boy from their opening video and took Flair's merchandise off their website. It's also believed that AEW would have signed Ric Flair, but that ended after this episode was aired. Tommy Dreamer was another person who was interviewed about the plane ride from hell. Dreamer defend Ric Flair, saying, I feel this is trying to portray someone as a sexual predator, and it's not. It's a joke, it's a gag. And today, 1,000% inappropriate. If you're asking me, I've hung out with Ric Flair, I've never seen him try to force his will against anybody. Tommy Dreamer made other comments on the episode, which led him to being suspended indefinitely from Impact Wrestling, and he was also briefly removed from the radio show he hosted, Busted Open Radio. This one is sad. In December 2021, WWE was hosting a non-televised show in Edinburgh, Texas. Jeff Hardy was wrestling in a 3 on 3 tag team match, but something didn't seem right. Hardy had his hand on his stomach as he's making his entrance, but things got weird after the match started. The bell rang, and everything seemed normal at first. As the match continued though, the charismatic enigma appeared to be a bit sluggish. It was nothing too serious, but after Jeff tagged out, the situation became bizarre. Jeff Hardy left the ring and jumped over the barricade and walked around the crowd. Hardy never returned to the ring, and he was sent home after this incident. Then, just a few days later, Jeff Hardy was released from WWE. There's been no official word on what happened at the show in Edinburgh, but according to Matt Hardy and Jeff's wife, the charismatic enigma is doing good. AEW found themselves surrounded in controversy in August 2021. Max Caster, a wrestler known for rapping during his entrances, was about to compete in a match with his tag team partner. As they were walking out, Caster had a diss rap that referenced Olympic gymnast Simone Biles' mental health issues, the Duke lacrosse case, the accuracy of COVID-19 tests, and an adult joke about female wrestler Julia Hart. The match was filmed and later posted to AEW's YouTube channel and backlash about the rap followed. The company later took down the video and re-uploaded it with Caster's rap removed. AEW CEO Tony Khan called the rap terrible and Matt Caster was suspended for two months with no pay, but he did return in September 2021. This year had its fair share of low points, but highs as well. To see the best and worst of WWE in 2021, watch the playlist on screen.